Meet the Graviners, everybody's favorite dysfunctional family, starring Helen and Damien and Tallulah's Tiara as Tallulah's Tiara. This episode, nothing much happens. So, giving up and accepting the fact that I now appear to be a Sims 3 uh, YouTuber, I've um, made a few changes. The first one is, as you can see, I've changed the resolution, changed the graphics up a little bit. And the other one is, I've put in the NRAS mods, mostly the Master Control and Overwatch. And hopefully that will improve things from last time. And one last thing. I think Tallulah can survive a little bit. Let's plan her outfit a little bit. So let's have a look at everyone else while she's decided to do that. So you need to eat. You're eating. Excellent. And you need to sleep, but you're vegetating. Slightly different. Enough of that, young man. Go to bed. Ah, Minosha, Gurdy Simmers, hello. Ah, looks like reality's caught up with the fact that we're live. Dag dag. Dag dag. Right. By popular demand. Somewhere. Assuming it loads. There we go. <laughs> that really doesn't go with the rest of the clothes, does it? Uh, let's pop it on her. Because, let's face it, where would Tallulah be, and why am I looking at shoes? Where would Tallulah be without a tiara? <laughs> Oh, what can I say to that? But yama needy bada. Ah, so on. And yeah, we should really get a, a a different. We should really get a different tiara for her to wear to bed. But you know, yeah, it's hygienic and all that, really, isn't it? And we'll just do outerwear. We won't put it on a swimwear because that's just silly, really, isn't it? Silly. This is a nice one, isn't it? Um, thank you to uh, Melody Flower who uh, found this one for me. And there was another one that somebody found for me. Uh, but I can't remember who who did it. I couldn't find the link, so uh, I'm gonna have to apologize to them But uh, if they remind me who what it was and give me the link in that I will make sure that it gets put on her at some point right you young lady You're very pretty with your tiara, but you're looking very tired. So go to sleep There we go All right People have been dropping subtle hints to me that Ellen needs to have children. I mean, can you imagine that? That's a scary thought, really, isn't it? <laughs> so it appears that, uh, thinking of that, uh, people have been overwhelmingly voting for Magical Diaries on April, not on April and Laura's channel. Not I can say I blame you. I actually wouldn't mind recording that a bit more, to be honest with you. So, sleep. Sleep. Yeah, I know particularly like I did like in The Sims 2 when you actually had to go out to the shops and buy stuff. God, this place is a mess, isn't it? So, right, um... I, there's there's one or two things I'd like to do in this episode, and that is either get uh, Tallulah here into La Fromange Art School, or take uh, Ellen here out to China to become take the first steps to become a ninja master. And I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Which one would you like to see? I 
I feel it, thanks. I was a bit rough then, wasn't I? Hmm. So we have one vote for Ellen the Ninja. I misread that slightly. Ninja hamster sounds cool. Yes, I should write a ninja hamster would sound cool. Alright, uh, you. Get in here and clean yourself up before somebody else takes them over. Oh, come on, what's going on here? Uh, the shower's broken. Okay, well, do that bit at least. Um, they're just going to have to put up with you at school with little green fumes going up over your head. At least. Uh, wash your hands and brush your teeth. That'll, that'll clean you up a little bit. Righty ho. So. Ellen the Ninja Hamster it is. Okay. Well, bus for Tulu will come in about an hour. Well, okay. And we'll get you to change into every day. And then you can head off to school. Yeah. And especially someone as small as Tallulah. I mean, she could do laps in that sink, really, couldn't she? Okay, so you can clue us some food. Why am I sounding like Captain Kirk? Uh, okay, so serve breakfast. Have some waffles out of you, my good man. And Ellen, repair the shower. <laughs> well, yep. Yeah. I, I must. I must admit. Uh, Having an extra day to start study for a Spanish final appeals to me. It appeals to anyone who's taking a, a, a Spanish final. Uh, come on, guys. Why do you wake up? Thank goodness for that. Come on, let's speed things up a little bit here. Okay, how are you doing at school? Right. Work hard. I need any of that. Let's get you up to an A and then you can start socializing to people. Well, with people, I should say, rather. Oh, not that there seems to be any other kid at your school. Yay! And Damien's improved his cooking skill to level three. That's a scary thought. And whoever's texting me, please stop. Yeah, <laughs> and of course it's Laura. She's just heard that Taluda has a tiara. Hee <laughs> hee. Hello, Laura. <laughs> oh, this day's running fast. Everybody just having uh, breakfast, and it's already lunchtime. Sounds like me when I'm on holiday. And off they go. Damien, I I did play this for a day off uh, camera, so Damien's actually on level two of the uh, the uh, oh sorry level two, <laughs> level two of uh, his career. Um, so uh, unfortunately, you missed that promotion one day, but uh, I needed to get the NRA stuff in and get it working okay and set all the uh, bits and pieces. Damien has available film work to do. Pick up food for shoot. To begin this, work now. Click the button below. You may begin this work later by going to map view to see all available work. Um, yeah, I'll do the job. Oh, he actually leaves work for this one. Okay. So, hurry up. 
Mega Racer 25, hello. Right. Yeah, I've got absolutely no, nothing, nothing at all planned about this today, but uh, the general consensus is that uh, Ellen needs to become a ninja. Oh, thank you very much, Live Audio. Um, Mega Racer 25. I lost. I lost your. Uh, uh, I lost your uh, link to uh, the other tiara you provided. So uh, I don't know if it's not too much of an imposition. Could you find it again for me? Mm, and all this this talking about temperature. Seeing as we have both Europeans and Americans on, it might be a good idea to specify uh, eleven degrees of what? You know, Celsius, Fahrenheit. Because otherwise, we're just going to get confused. Yes, and Ninja Ellen. Ellen the Ninja. Yeah, I'm terribly sorry about this, but I've got to kill you. So, if you could just stand there and look the other way. Oh, and to be totally honest with you, there's another way of looking at this. Is uh, um, Ellen could indeed just uh, wear a low-cut top and kill them while they're confused. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally honest with you, you're absolutely right there, that all the temperatures are being given are about quarter past cold really, aren't they? So, why are you in a mood? Hey, you're in a mood because you're going to have that shower this morning, aren't you? So you do that, have a shower, and then you do your homework. Like that, and... Damien is taking all day to pick up lunch, so yeah, I think that's about par for Damien. And Ellen, how are you doing? Okay, so you're actually, I think you're going to get promoted by the end of the day, so I won't ask you to work hard, but still do your best, do your very best. Uh, oh yes, heading back to work. How am I? Much better than I was the other day. Thank you. Butterfly Bananas. No, I don't want to do that one. That one's boring. Much, much better. Thanks. Voice is still a little bit rough, but I'm feeling better. May I actually survive. Oh, the drama. Eddie12345X. Hello. Yes. You can get lost in that one. Hmm. Not that I'm complaining, but yes, you can get lost in that one. Right. Okay, where are we? Where's everyone? You're at work. You're still at work. And you're in the shower. Let's see how you're doing. Allow me to introduce myself. Hmm. Have a straw. We'll travel. Damien Grabener at your service. Yes. Right, so use charming introduction on a stranger. And let's face it, there's none stranger than Damien. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> I've been considering doing... Well, I considered doing one a little while ago. I considered doing a, a runaway teen challenge, but I ended up falling in love with the little sim that I made. That in the end... Um, I never actually recorded a moment's worth of footage. And here's little Tallulah with a, a tiara on and a look of extreme concentration on her face. Do you know what? Um, that sounds like an absolutely good idea. Hoyle20 at uh, gmail.com. Be my guest. Yeah, I think Ellen, Ellen would probably kill herself and feel quite justified in doing so, to be honest. Why are you miserable now? Uh, I see you're a bit, a uh, bit poofed. Okay. Right, Damien, how you doing? And compliment the director. It seems to be a bit working better than you than our business as usual. And yes, it looks like uh, Ellen is reaching the heights of her career. So I think what we will do with you. 
is when you get out of work, let's go and find the library. That looks like a library to me. You pop off to the library and book yourself a trip to China. H O E L two zero Hoyle twenty. Exactly the same as my YouTube name and various other bits and pieces. <laughs> I don't know. I think we've noticed really that Damien's personality seems to be getting in the way of his love life. Now, he's really not doing that well, to be honest with you. Though, I must admit, uh, the other day he did get himself a love letter. He got himself a love letter from this guy, Ivan Robbins. So the guy is either fascinated or has a death wish. Or has a fascinated death wish, one or the other. Yeah, I mean, you've got to be honest with you, okay, the other problem with Damien is that uh, the the ladies might like him, but uh, yeah, he likes the ladies, he likes the gentlemen, um, yeah, I don't know, I mean, he, for all I know, he might like the sheep, he probably does, considering this is Damien. Uh, I think what we'll do with you, my man, is, let's have a, let's, why don't you have a quick chat with a certain gentleman, get to know him a little bit better, oh, you see... He's got to know uh, Dev and Ashton and a few other people from work. So there's some more people for him to happen to. And then you can have a shower. And eat some leftovers. Eat leftovers. Oh, goopy carbonara. We'll do nicely. Okay, so. Oh, well, we forgot to put that away, did we? Ellen has made it to the library and didn't get promoted today. How close were you? Oh, you... Oh, you did get promoted. Well done. Right. Congratulations! Ellen's, Ellen's impressive performance has earned her a promotion to Yes Woman, as well as a bonus of 576 simoleons. Hopefully you're, you're ready to nod your head in the affirmative because you've worked your way into the position of Yes Woman. Should the city vote on Bond 452C? Yes. Should we elect a new police commissioner? Yes. How does this tie look? Yes. There's only one answer to give if you want to stay in your superior's good, good graces. But it's very worrying because all I can really say is I don't know. Ellen now makes 64 simoleons an hour and works from 1pm to 6pm. So, let's go and book us a trip to China, shall we? Right, where's the computers in here? There's the computers in here. Um, travel. It is travel, isn't it? It's not real estate. I'm tempted to, but uh, no, I think I think I want this just to do Ellen because I think that'll be fun. Move, check weather, you the game, solve your solve chat, browse where why can I not go abroad? Hmm, let's try the phone. Real estate and travel services, there we go. Right, travel. I have no idea why that wasn't working on the computer, possibly because it's not in a home lot. Hello Chris, and uh, anyone else I've missed saying hello to? A bit late to the game, I don't think I said hello to you. Hello guys. Right, Tallulah, uh, uh, Tallulah, China. Right, Tallulah, Ellen is going to China for three days. It'll cost us 1,300 simoleons, but let's face it, the others can just avoid eating for a change. So there we go, and that's... 
I means we'll have all sorts of uh, adventures with Helen without the others getting in the way. Oh, yes. Well, if she's pregnant, she uh, didn't tell me about it, and I should know. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Blurdo. Blurdo Chocoblurd. Find the tattoo artist. Now, which one of these two is the tattoo artist? I must admit, I dislike these screens. I must remember to turn them off. Assuming this is loaded and hasn't crashed. Let me rephrase that. I'm hoping this is loading and uh, hasn't crashed. Let me rephrase this. I think it's crashed. Oh, no. Life. Uh, okay, a little bit of life. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, okay, um, it's worth pointing out that this live stream finishes at 10 o'clock. I'm just kind of hoping now that this actually loads by then. Yes, can you just imagine the conversation? Well, I, William told me it would make me pregnant and I listened to him. It's always that William's fault. I'm going to kill him eventually. Yeah, those uh, those those um, loading sliders that jump instantly from zero to one hundred—they're always good. They give so much information. Mm. I must admit, this is one of the problems with doing The Sims as a live stream. If ever you get into a loading screen, it uh, just takes forever. And excuse me, when you're doing a, a normal let's play, you can just cut that bit out. Just pretend it doesn't happen. But when you're like this, you're thinking, oh joy, I've got 20 minutes to fill up with rubbish now. Hmm, what should I talk about? Why not? I mean, come on, come on, okay. Let's, let's be honest here, okay? Why can't we have Ellen, the librarian of love? Ah. Sims on holiday, all cliché, all the time. And there she is. Right, let's get her a room. And let's get her some new clothes, because let's face it, she's on holiday. And then... Let's get her... Studying the martial arts, and we'll do a few adventures while we're out here as well. We got the three days, so where should we go? Right, we'll go for one of these middle rooms, I think. And in fact, you can go here, set bed ownership, Helen Grabener. There we go, and plan outfit. have an idea here I want to see what you guys think <laughs> 